What's going on guys? Today we're working on a somewhat of a flash drive and a early solid state drive. A mighty 256 megabytes of data is stored on this thing. This is the second time I see modules like this come in for recovery. Uh, I'll uh, explain what they're used for and um, what do they normally store. This device came out, came in without the connector piece on the back. So I'll uh, have to figure some way to power up this thing. And uh, hopefully we don't need to do the chip off on it. Uh, hopefully it's something that has to do with the um, failed components. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that all of your likes, comments, uh, and shares of this video help us grow. And I would highly appreciate if you hit that like button and comment something below in advance. Anyways, let's get into it and figure out uh, what's going on with this device and how we can fix it. So I've taken the device apart and um, I went ahead and set up this bin um, to supply power. As you can see it had like a little tiny socket for it where the power connector would normally go but I didn't have one uh, laying around that's shaped to go in there so I just attached this uh, single row header. What we're going to do in our case since we're working with the PC3000 we're going to use um, these connections here, port zero, power up, and let's measure. So the black wire for the ground, the red one, okay, so the yellow lead on the connector is 12 volts. That's what it's showing us right now. And if we switch it over to the red one, well, that's our 5 volt. So we're going to go with the red one. This board is pretty well described, shows a positive and a negative sign. So the negative is going to go with the brown wire and the positive is going to get a red wire. Okay. Uh, the adapter that comes with our unit, the PC3000, there's the ID adapter. The power wire is connected. Uh, we've got a pin on top of the connector that goes in like that. I think we're all set and uh, let's power on our, our device we get busy state if we get busy state that's not a good news because hmm, well because it's not a good news let's see what we get as far as the voltages go on the overall PCB if we get a variety of different voltages or just the same old thing so I'm gonna tap into the ground pin here and uh, these big capacitors around here let's let's see what they say so we got 1.4 1.4 1.5 so um, flip it over and see what we get on the NAND side, 1.4. Here's an interesting thing. Uh, we got 5.5 volts going in, but the only thing that spreads around is 1.4 and that's not enough for the memory like that to run. See, so we got some issues. Something is not working. Okay, so this is the ground. We got five volts on this end. And we got 1.4 coming out. So this could run up to 32 gigabyte SLC flash. Designed to be a reliable single chip which provides solutions to serve the storage scenario which needs high data integrity and security such as ATMs, ticket vending machines, parking systems, and point of sale systems. Okay, so it needs a 3.3. So we'll use a jumper.
and uh, what I'll do is I'll just jump this to this Right, that way we're uh, going to be sending 3.3 .3 right off of here to this part. We're not going to need some component reduce it from 5 volts to 3.3. .3. We're just going to send 3.3 .3 from the DC supply, power supply. I'm just going to bring this down to 3. Yeah. So why don't we do this instead? Okay, so we can just um, hook this up, have it connected, hook this up, have this connected. On our screen, since we already understand that it's running on 3.3, .3, we got 3.3 .3 in the jack. Power on. It stays at busy. I'm just gonna put this up here. Bam. Ready, signal sign. And uh, universal utility. Welcome, welcome. We have Transcend live, coming to you live. Pretty simple case. We got our data. That's amazing. Let's have a look at the end. So this is some sort of a problem with that component, that the voltage regulator it was broken, uh, not giving efficient power to the controller to get this thing running. Um, we can fix this unit uh, if we replace the regulator with a proper one uh, that would reduce 5 volts down to 3.3. Um, but uh, we can do uh, an image of this and um, clone that image out to uh, for the client and maybe even put it on another device uh, let me get the customer's id for this case it's 8532 8532 um all right that's going to be our source make that a copy Let's make a virtual disk. We can make an image file. We can make an image file. And that's it. The whole process is complete. There is our image file right here, 256 megabytes. I don't know if there is any structure to it or whatnot, but we can definitely explore it. There is the root and there are the folders. Perfect. We uh, achieved a successful outcome, guys and uh yeah i'm uh, super stoked <laughs> this was great uh simple fix but again this was not working like it was supposed to intuition and uh you know just the overall general uh level of understanding on what com certain component components require can uh make something that was uh, a bit more complex from not needing to be taken place because I was thinking considering doing a chip off on this but then I'm I, I started hesitating just because it's a really old controller 
and this it's probably super simple to uh, um, redo it but it could have some elements that current tools that simply do not support anymore because there's just no interest for it and they're they don't want make options for it anymore but uh, look at the result one simple wire fixes the whole thing sometimes guys that's all it's going to take one little uh, simple wire and you're good to go well in our case it wasn't just a simple wire it was a simple wire plus a regulated power that we're sending to it uh, there is such thing as sequencing and in some cases where we attempt to do uh, power ups like this through the uh, power supply they're not necessarily going to work they need the, uh, the everything to be powered on at once in order to start uh, but here our powering is all done through that through those two wires that ground and the power feed right so until they actually connected nothing gets loaded up and then we got lucky and as a result we got a fully cloned unit within literally seconds so if you have have any questions uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below one more case under the belt successful story thank you so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit like because that really helps our channel to grow but don't forget to comment because that i think boosts videos the most so even if you have nothing to say about this case specifically ask me whatever you want to ask say hi find out what the weather is like outside <laughs> i'll be happy to answer all of you and i'll see you all in the next episode cheers